Before we go ahead to download and install Chrome OS, let's just know, what is it? What if when you pressed on, you were on the internet in seconds? What if your browser was your operating system? And, and so check this out. This means that you don't have to deal with, with managing programs or, or nagging updates or lost files or confusing settings or blue screens of doom and, and there's no nagging updates, just your browser. So let's move on. First off, from this website, I'll download Chrome OS. I'll put the link in the video description so you can find it there. Every day they build new releases for different system types and that's great for fixing errors. There are two links to download from based on your system type. To know what is your system type, right click on computer icon, select properties. My system type is 64 bit. So I'll download 64-bit build. After finish download, extract the file. This is the image file for the Chrome OS. To write this image file into USB flash drive, I have to use special program called Win32 Disk Imager. You can find the link in the video description as well. Click on Download. Run the setup file for Win32 Disk Imager as administrator. Click Next. I accept the agreement. Next. 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 Create a desktop icon. Next. And finally, install. Uncheck these checkboxes and click on Finish to close this window. Now I will insert my USB flash drive. From the desktop, run the program Win32 Disk Imager. It's important to run it as administrator. By default, the USB flash drive will be detected. But in case if you have another USB flash or hard drive inserted, make sure to select the right label. Click on the Browse icon. Select the extracted image file for Chrome OS. Click Open. Click on Write. Confirm Overwrite. Click on Yes. Write Successful. Great. At this point, I have a bootable USB flash drive containing Chrome OS. Let's run it. Before you run Chrome OS, go to your BIOS. The method for accessing the BIOS is different from one product to another. For SunnyVio laptop, there is a button called Assist. I'll press on it. Make sure to change two things, boot mode to legacy and enable boot from external device. That's all. I'll insert my bootable USB flash containing Chrome OS. And here is it. This operating system requires internet connection and Google account for signing into this system. Why? Because the whole idea from this operating system is just to make your data portable. Nothing saved on your operating system.
I hope this video tutorial was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.